Now you're forcing me to do it. Sir, you don't want me to get violent here. Uh, let me get rid of one in the back row at least. One. Two. No. Yes. One. Two. I didn't activate another. No. Activate this. Uh, destroy a card. One. I think this is pretty much. Uh, another thing is, if you're in like a 60 second duel, you probably don't want to play aliens, now that I think of it. But, and the reason I say that is because aliens can take a while with their counters. The time does stop if you're, uh, actually no, it really doesn't want my time up. But, uh, the time's, if you have 60 seconds in a duel, you probably could get away with it if you get like good hands, but there are times where you have to like actually think about stuff and pull up monsters, and then it takes a lot of swarming time and whatever. So in theory, they're not really great in level time duels, but in 180 they're fine. Um, I mean, technically, I could summon alien green attack. Which I might just do. Uh, activate this. And. Wow. How much I really could do this turn? <coughs> I'm still waiting for the Arcana Force monster. I mean, like, kind of curious what that is all about. Oh, good. Okay. That's not Omega. If that was Omega, we'd be in a little bit of trouble, guys. But we are not too bad. But I do not have too much I could go for here. So I'm going to get rid of the monsters, which is a good plan. Uh, and not really much I can do there. Choose two and add both? And you can't conduct your battle face. Okay. Um. Huh. I. Huh. Sure. That's probably what we'll do. Um. Dog. Overlord. Um. Telepath. And that. Okay. Uh, set this. Call it turn. I mean, I don't really have anything I can play here. What the heck? So then, that can decrease and increase the level of stellar monsters on the field. So that probably... A level six one. That's strange. I mean, that's not the way I would get that card out, but okay. Definitely not the way I'd get that card out. I mean, I guess it is better that it's not Poseidy or whatever his stupid name is. And uh, anyone that's curious, I did duel a um, what the heck is it called? a Castellar deck and a Evil Swarm player with uh, my friend Talon uh, who switches gamer tags so okay so we negate darks this is like some straight up like OP meta based deck there uh, quite honestly I don't even feel like bringing something back from the grave well, I guess I can get Overlord, but technically I can still get Overlord from my hand. So, either way, I guess. However, the game wants me to do it. So, yeah, I guess. It looks like 
Seratorius, whatever his stupid name is. Uh, a lot of normal summoning going on. I'm not very happy about it, actually. Don't make a Zen mains. Come on now. Uh, I actually do not know what this thing does, but I don't think I want to find out either. I want to return you, Kanita. Oh, great. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. Go ahead, destroy that too, and watch what happens. Um, okay. And now let's see normal summon or special summon target. Or why? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um. Let's see. One, two, this for a. What do I want? Overlord, I guess. Activate. Um, 2100. That's fine. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. And I had to say something. Oh, good. Yeah. I love when my monster bounces back to the deck because of trap cards. Uh, let me see, it's like if it deals damage or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not really a bad trap card, actually. It's like really annoying to deal with, too. Oh, great. Wonderful. I mean, I'm not really angry about it. I'm not really too happy about it, either. I remember to add Dark Hole to this deck. I mean... It probably would end badly if I did. Uh, okay. If I get Mirror Force, I'd be happy. I mean, I'd be happy with Messenger of Peace as well. Uh, I'd rather not have duality in this situation. Uh, take the Messenger of Peace. Uh, do this. I. I think he only can bounce monsters, right? E yeah, okay. From the field, we're in their player's graveyard. I don't think you can pull off 3300 with the monsters in your hand. Unless if you're making. Oh, and I should have reimpered you to Omega. Okie dokie then. Um, yeah, uh, anyone that wants to know, lingering effects don't work on things that aren't affected by spells and traps. That's why a horse can get past swords, and I'm talking about level 6, of course. Uh, I really hope I don't lose against Sartorius, because then I will have to re. Or, I uh, didn't have to end up cutting some parts out, and it'll get annoying, and someone will have to die in one turn. And where was this two or five turns ago? Uh, whatever. It's not that bad right now. Uh, okay. This is probably not the greatest of all hands right now, but whatever. Uh, set this, and turn, whatever. I have a D prison so I can deal with whatever he's about to bring out. Uh, uh, I don't know why you brought that out actually. Oh, that's why, okay. I want to actually flip my monster, so... Okay. That can get banished for a while. Uh, I don't know how many Omegas you have, though.
Save the MST and hit like two birds with one stone or something like that. Go ahead. Oh, filler monsters. Okay, I'm gonna do this now because I'm not dealing with Omega later. One, two, I am fine with the effects of light monsters activating because usually most of your things are just bouncing or adding stuff back unless you have the XYZs out. Uh, great. Yeah, that's why I want the alien dogs. Alrighty. Um, okay, that works. If I had level 4 in the grave, I can actually get a lot of things going. But, yeah. Tribute this card, but so one for grand. Well. Wait, why didn't you put that in attack? Oh, okay. Uh, I can make sand mains. Uh, I might regret it later, but let's do it anyways. Oh, there's a level 4. Oh, Anchor Pulse. Uh, I really want the level 4. Like, there's no debating on that. Technically, there is. I could have gone, like, Pulse, bounce something back. But really, it's better off if I just go for level 4 is in this deck. And at least get one of them in the grave. Then I could use some more shenanigans, but you know. So, yeah. I really. Actually, no, he can't negate me. I could do whatever I feel like right now, and he can't do anything to stop me. Because of his own card. I believe. I believe he can still stop summoning things. You just can't activate like Phoenix Chain. Alright, so then we'll activate this. And since these are all still light based monsters, uh, this gives two counters. Uh, one, two. Uh, how to go about this? Um, telepath. To remove a counter from you. You get rid of this. Alright, that's a good start. Then we will combine to get I can make scrap dragon. Why would I make scrap dragon? I no, I said why would I make scrap dragon? I don't know. So then we're gonna bring out an overlord it looks like. Uh, yeah, you got three counters. Okay. Um, and then Alien Overlord will give us a last counter. And then we'll be able to get over some cards that are going to be a pain in my backside. Uh, just for safety, I'm going to put them all on Golgar. Because I'd rather have, like, counters on cards I'm not going to destroy. I think I'm just going to attack over you it might be then we'll do this one two uh anything in the grave no okay we'll activate this because why not activate this to destroy a card give me two counters one two oh i didn't know you had oh that's right okay anyways uh that that will not have been that annoying, I guess. Attack this. I should have actually removed the counter from my card so I can use Alien Overlord to attack over this, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, and then attack this. Um, 
Not really much you can do to stop me, to be honest. If I remember my Castellers right. Yeah, this is game. Nice doing you, Mr. Sartorius. But I do not feel like doing a lot more editing than I have to. I mean, I do as much editing as is needed for the videos, guys. But, you know, just saying. I don't need to have two hours of video to re edit out. Or just one turning, of course. Alright. Good game, Mr. Sartorius, and I'm just going to start closing up here, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the other videos before this, because this is also going to be in, like, five, three, four, five parts. Who knows? Depends on how much this goes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the other videos before this. Well, basically, I hope you guys enjoyed the session of... Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. Gachilotron. Okay, well, that's not anything surprising since you are the Ancient Gear deck. Which, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found this to be helpful for any alien players out there that want to start playing aliens but don't know how to play aliens. Of course, I'm going to go over the deck recipe after this video, of course. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and leave your comments in the section down below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Uh, go ahead and show your hate for Dragon Rollers if you want to. I don't care. Um, you know, whatever you guys want to put. I really enjoy seeing your comments. Make sure you leave your leave sure you leave deck requests for the next coming up turning things because you know I already have one for something, but you know I still need three. Six, ten more decks. Ten more decks, guys, and then we will pretty much have beaten this Let's Play. So, yeah. I will catch you guys next time. Take care, guys, and talk to you guys soon enough.